as a man, I can be gotten to. I can be manipulated. But as tabletop dad, I can be legend. That's right. We are going to open a sealed Commander Legends collector box. Today on Tabletop Dad. Well, I may have mentioned it was coming, so there it is. I hope you're enjoying the videos on this channel. If you hadn't already had a chance, click the like and subscribe buttons. Also, click the bell icon so you get notifications of our future videos. Trying to pump out as many videos as I can for you guys. Making this exciting today with a sealed Commander Legends collector box. What kind of extended foils will we get? Well, we will have to see. Will we get any mythics? Will we have some spicy pulls? What will our S foils be? Leave a comment down below if you've had a chance to open any of these collector boosters for Commander Legends. I'm excited to hear some feedback, see what kind of exciting stuff you pulled. So, let's get to cracking open this sealed product. Once we pop the wrap, we can't go back. That's right. 12 packs of absolute gorgeousness going on right here. Let's get pack number one. We are starting on the left. That's right. We have been favoring the right. So we are gonna start on the left. And honestly, I'm doing this in multiple takes because with shipping and tax, this puppy cost me just over $400. So let's see what kind of gloriousness we've got in here. Look at that gorgeous flying angel token. Absolutely gorgeous. Really cool grid pattern in the foil. All right, excited so far. We've got ourselves a foil filigree familiar. That's a popular one for me. So is the Phyrexian Rager. Absolute gorgeous cards. Fall from favor. Monarch, great card there. Foil Murder. Vela, good invoker. And our uncommons. We've got a Codex Shredder. We've got a Revenant. We've got a Breaches. And if you've watched this channel before, you know I like to keep my legendary separate. We've got a Ray of Master Smith. And I believe our next one should be our Full Art. Yeah, Selvish Dreadlord. Full Art Foil. Encore ability. Very cool. And the next one's Non Foil. Yes, Teamer Battle Rage. Non foil of Borderless. And is it just a regular foil this time? Nope. Extended Art Non Foil Blasphemous Act. And then we go to the Etch. We got a Tuya Bear Claw. Uncommon. A nice Ramos Dragon Engine Mythic 5 Color. I've actually been wanting one of those. And we got a blim. Comedic genius is our legendary creature imp. And we've got a treasure token. So there we have it so far. We will put the etched up there. Sorry tokens, you're just going to have to find a spot somewhere else. That's pack number one. Exciting pack number one. We got a mythic right out the gate with Ramos Dragon Engine. Pretty sure you get a mythic in every pack in that slot. But it's actually a good one. All right, here we go. Pack number two. Not curling. That's good. Still going down the left here. We've got ourselves a rock. Awesome rock. Actually, there is some curling going on in that. You can see the etched foils aren't curling, but the uh, all the lower rarity stuff there is starting to curl already. Prophetic Prism, gorgeous. 
Annoyed officer, great for Hopper. Cascade deck, port of betrayal. Pirate's Cutlass, a service here, good for the sacrifice decks. Scale Behemoth. And we are. That was an uncommon right there, actually. Alright. Orzov Advocus. Legendary Prava. And we got a Mythic in that slot. A Chroma Vision of Ixador in the foil. Very cool. Our regular art rare is a Horizon Stone. Is it just me or is this in a different order than last time? I don't remember getting this many regular rares. We got a Victimize. Where the hell does this even go? Alright, so we got a Extended Art Victimize. We got a Mythic Extended Art. In the profane transfusion, we've got actually Prava in the etched. Our next one is Xenagos, nice mythic Xenagos, older one. And our last one is the Kulfinor in the etched, and the Gullum on that side. So, okay, where that was supposed to be is that. All right, I see how it's going now. Okay, so we got those, those. We actually did get a bonus rare. The first one had two legendaries. So that's why we got the extra foil there. All right, next back, here we go. Back number three. Commander Legends, Collector Boosters, we got a Monarch Token, Gorgeous, we got a Ghastly Demise, Entourage of Trust, a Surveyor, Angel of Dawn, Trusty Path Beast. Eight, we got our Coastline Marauders, we got a Foil, Borderless, Ex Acidic Slime, that's really cool in that art there. We got a Malcolm, Keen Eyed, Navigator, Malcolm or Breaches in the foil combo already. We've got an Inara, Wolvid Familiar, very cool. And what's our next one gonna be? It's a Slash the Ranks, all right. And full art, Counterspell, Non-Foil, Non foil rings of bright hearth, and we've got a etched foil breaches. What's our middle one gonna be? Silas Wren, Seeker Adept. That's pretty cool in that etched, I like that. And our last etched is a Livio Sworn Sentinel. All right, and an elf warrior. That was a little, little different on that one. That was pretty cool. Back number four. Boy, oh, boarding party for those hopper decks. Finlorn Elves, that's a nice hit there. Foil Finlorn Elves, like to see those. Fine Salvager, Foil Preordained, gorgeous. Very nice. Spontaneous Mutation. Nice, bonus arcane signet, foil, very nice, I'll take that. Thirst for knowledge, foil, and our first legendary is an Elena. We've got a Hamza, and we've got a coercive recruiter in a rare slot there. This should be borderless, I think. Yes, borderless non foil a braid. And we got a Rakshasa Devasaur. And we got an Arden etched, Intrepid Archaeologist. That's gorgeous in the etched. And our middle one, Queen Marquesa etched. Wow, that's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm excited for that one. And our last slot looks like it's a gold one. It's a nostril. 
Voice of Crags etched. Definitely gotta love these etched foils. Alright, we're definitely gonna need to make some more room here. You know, once we get once we get done with the box, what do you think about that? Okay. Two packs to go here on the left. But continue on. We got a zombie. We've got a doom traveler. We've got a fiery cannonade. We got gargoyle vines. Invoker, Uncommon Slaughter the Strong, Confiscate, look out, it's mine, we've got a Nadir, we've got a Rebek, we've got a Necroma's Will, and our Extended Art Non-Foil is a Swiftfoot Boots. Cool. And we got a Court of Iron as a rare. We got a Kanji Skywarden in the etch. What will our middle one be? Yuriko, the Tiger Shadow. Awesome. I was actually going to order one of these. Now I don't have to. That is gorgeous in person. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. And the last one. Amareth the Lustrous in the Edge. Very cool. That's gorgeous as well. well. We're really excited about these etched, that's for sure. I really, really like those. Well, I went ahead and just moved our Arcane Signet down in the Uncommon pile. I also pulled out our Mythics that we've got so far. So right now we're sitting at two Mythics. One with the Foil Regular. One with the extended border non foil, and then we've only got two of the foil borderless. One is a rare, one was just a promo acidic slime. And this is the last pack in the left side of the box. What will it be? Will it be something super spicy? I hope so. We've got a crew of dark titans, skirmisher. Max, Roar, Stone Fury, Winnower. We got a Gilt Leaf Winnower. We got an Opal Palace. That is borderless. We got a regular foil Ish Technique Salvage Splicer. And we got the Theol Regular Art Rare. We've got a Foil Necrotic Hex, regular art rare. And we've got a Borderless Kadama's Reach. Followed by a Seal of Eternity. Borderless rare. Soul of Eternity. And our etched is a Galanra Collar of Wildwood. That's kind of cool. And our middle etch, Zur the Enchanter. Oh, I like that one. I've been wanting to build a deck around Zur. Just hadn't had a foil version. Now I got the etched foil. Very cool. And our last one is a Gurmodrak Anthologist. It's the Salamander guy. That's the first half of the box. Pretty spicy, I must say. A lot of things going on there I wasn't expecting. Alright, took the rest of them out of the box. We are going down the right side now. Finish it off strong. Top pack on the right, here we go. I haven't seen very many mythics from the regular set yet. Whoa! Throw in our Flood of Recollection. It's a cool card too. Captain's Gull, regular foil Opal Palace this time, Foundry Inspector, Seraph, Storm Tamer, Humble Defector, 
We got a rogue rack. Very cool. We've got a bonus rare again. The legendary. And the next one should be our extended art is a foil. It's a sweet gum recluse. Extended art foil rare. Not one of the ones we want to see, unfortunately. Swords to plowshares and that cool art. Oh, that's really cool. And we got another one. Sweet of the Second Sun. Non foil mythic. And this should be our etched Amorex. Filigree Thrasher. Our reprinted one is a Prosh Sky Raider of Pure. That's pretty cool. Dragon. And our set one is a Belby. Just pull one of those out of our Commander Legends draft box, actually. If you hadn't seen that video, I will put a link to it up there in the corner. And let's keep this rolling. Second pack in right hand side. Impulsive Pilferer. Encore. Gale Strike. Wrong guard, code cartographer, assistant. Mask of memories are always good, especially the foil. We got a zifter worm. We got a brineland. And we got an emoti. Double legend foil. And we got a laboratory drudge. Okay. Regular art foil rare. And we got an arcane denial in the kind of cartoon style extended art non foil. Well, that's interesting. And we got a court of ambition. And we should be onto our etched. We got an Elena. Middle reprinted one is a Zedru the Great Hearted. Cool. And our last one from the set, an Elegeth Crossroads Augur. And we got a Soldier Token. Down to four packs to go. Four packs to go. We got the Mallfield Twins, Aroas. I like colors. Valor. Spire. Looks like we've got some borderless ones here. Skill Animator. Nice. We've got a foil extended art commander sphere. Very cool. Too bad that was just reprinted in the uh, secret lair drop with even cooler art, I think. But to each his own, I guess. And our next one is an Alaru. We got a Halana. And we got an Armored Sky Hunter. Foil Rare. And we got a non foil extended art Myriad Landscape. And we got a non foil extended art Immaculate Magistrate. Alright. The Lee's Reverend Medium. Etched. Foil Uncommon Legend. Our reprint legend is Robo Soul Tender. Cool. We got the cleric theme going on here. Wow. And our last one is an Obeka Brute Chronologist. Cool. I don't think we've hit our mythic from the set yet in our etched. Curious to see what that's going to be. I could be wrong too, I don't know. But... Aqueous form. Third from the last pack. Predator. Cure. Natural reclamation. We got a Piper. Regular art foil. We got a foil extended art fact or fiction. It's kind of like that acidic slime. Just a staple reprint there. And we've got a foil extended art arcane signet. That's absolutely gorgeous. 
Love that one. We got a Radiant Sierra Archangel in the foil. Very cool. I actually would like to see that in the etched foil. Yeah. We got a Ghost of Ramirez de Petro. We've got a foil jeweled lotus. Non full art, but it is foil. Very sweet. There's a mythic, ladies and gentlemen. We pulled the jeweled lotus. And we got a burnish art in our extended. And do we get one more extended or is it just etched? Yeah, it's a root reaver druid. Alright. So extended non-foil. Root reaver druid. We've got the etched foil Halana. Our middle one is a chrome Ludovic's Opus. Well, I'm not even familiar with that guy. This guy's pretty cool. And our last etched from the set is an Arkelos. The turtle guy. Oh, this element away. Uh, we did pull the jeweled lotus. I would prefer it not to curl. We are gonna go ahead and slide that puppy right into the perfect pet. Absolutely gorgeous. Holy cows away. Very nice. Two packs to go. Did we already hit our spice though? I don't know. What's going on with our light here? That better? How about there? How about that? There we go. Alright. Yambi. Watch out. Running away together. We got a haunted cloak. We got a scrounging bandar. Massacre, Serpent, Brass Herald, a cast down. We got a regular art to you this time. We got a rare. It's a Lisa Shroud of Dusk. Nice. That's really cool. And the foil. Okay. Extra rare there. We got another rare. Port of Ire, Borderless Foil. That one goes over there. Non foil borderless command tower. We got a borderless chrome as well this time. Non foil. Wow, that's great art on that. We got an etch Ghost of Ramirez de Petro. Also pulled one of those in that box too. Our reprint is a Derevi. Interesting. All right. Imperial Tactician. Cool. And from the set, we've got the Lethiel in the Edge. Wow, that's gorgeous. Build that unicorn deck around your etched foil. Still haven't hit a Mythic in the Etched out of the set slot yet. So, will that be in this pack? We did hit a Jeweled Lotus. Really excited for that one. Go Street Denizen, last pack. Here we go. Ambush Viper. Ancestral Blade. We got a giant. We got a, an ape. We got a vow. We got a foil extended art preordained. That's gorgeous. Wow, that's nice. We've got a Dargo. We've got a Kesket. We got a Vault of Champions. It's our first Battle Bond land. Comes in the last pack. The last one. Mole Drifter. We've got the Extended Art Non Foil Mole Drifter. And we got one more Extended Art Non Foil. It's a Body of Knowledge. Our last for the Edge. We got a Rogue Yak. We got a Rakdos. And we got a Kamal Heart of Prosa. There's our Mythic I was talking about. It didn't end up showing up in the last pack. Okay, well there you have it. One, two, three, four, five Mythics in the box. We got a bunch of the extended art foils. Pretty sure none of these are Mythics, yeah. 
Body and Knowledge of Kuma's Will, Druid, Magistrate, Court, Court, Rings, Blasphemous Act. Court of Ire, Court of Ambition. Nice. Alright. Kuma's Will is probably one of my more favorite cards, too. Those are pretty cool in that extended art. Gotta like that. And then we can't forget these should be the other rarity extended art non foils. Arcane Denial's gorgeous. Swords is gorgeous. Kadama's Reach Boot. Counter Spell of Braid. These are the non foils. I'm most excited about the Arcane Denial and the Swords. Counterspell's pretty cool too. And I guess the boots. Regular foil rares. One Battle Bond Land. We got the Lesa. Shrudge. Chroma's Will again. The Rising Stone. Gorgeous. Not to mention we got all these cool etched foils. And we got the Jeweled Lotus Regular. Art foil, absolutely breathtaking. Fully secured in a perfect fit. Well, I hope you enjoyed this opening from Tabletop Dad. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Give us a share on social media so more people can see this video. Leave us a comment if you had a chance to open any of these Commander Legends collector booster boxes or just booster packs. Let me know if you've pulled anything spicy and exciting. Have fun playing your tabletop games. And God bless.